Good morning, boys! Wakey, wakey! <laughs> ah, morning, worms. <gasps> Good morning, Lucian. It's school photo day today, and I expect you to look sanitary. Naturally, Mother. Time to get up. You need to decide what you're going to wear. <laughs> too loose knit. Too hairy. Too recreational. Okay, Wayne. Can you find something to wear by yourself, or do you want Mommy to help you? All right, suit yourself. But don't be late for breakfast. non-spill, high-protein breakfast today. Astronauts process two tuna fish. I don't want either of you getting anything messy on your good clothes. Oh, my. You boys are going to be late. Wayne! Wayne! Oh, oh, my eyes are stuck! I don't get it. Why is everyone so excited about getting snapped by Old One-Eye? It's not going to be Old One-Eye, Mari. That's the whole point. It's his son, and he's different. He has yet to become jaded by the monotony of school portraiture. Look. Okay, sure, this lady is pretty, but what does she sacrifice to get there? Her dignity, her self-respect, her soul. Perhaps. But see, it's Miss Hissy! Miss Hissy. Wow! This guy really is good. <gasps> huh? What? Nothing. It's just that you look like a freak. None of your colors coordinate. Most of your clothes are on back to front, or they're too small, and there's a pair of underpants on your elbow. So, girl pants, like anybody besides you is gonna notice. <laughs> Come on, Wendy, work with me. I am working with you. I'm smiling, aren't I? Yes, but it doesn't seem like a real smile. I want real. I see kids as real people. Small, real people. You're starting to make me angry. What do you want this picture to say about you, Wendy? What makes you, you? What do you love most in the world? Getting my own way. Good, good. And what if you can't get your own way? Then I scream very loud, like this. Ah! Great, now that's real. Give me more real, Wendy. Come on, you're determined. You're ambitious. You're a force to be reckoned with. Thank you, Wendy. Who's next? Hello. What's your name? Lucian Crep. Hmm. And what are we trying to say here, Lucian Crep? That he's a girl pants! I should like to be photographed holding the sword of truth and an olive branch representing world peace. Hmm. Wow! Wow! This 
This is real. Such passion, such energy. L look at this. Underpants on the elbow. The, the irony. It's so in your face. Such a bold, naked, personal statement. Naked? You, my friend, are a true fashion original. Oh. I'm a what? What's your name, kid? Wayne? Ah. 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 All right, everybody. Smile. So bold and naked. He's so real. Quick, let's swap a sock so our colors won't match. Oh, this guy really is good. <laughs> hey, Lucian, what are you doing looking like that? What exactly are you referring to? Hey, what? Get real, Lucian. Tucked in is out. <laughs> Did you see that? Wayne keeps cool scrap in his locker. So? Yeah, so? <laughs> so, where'd you get the great scrap, Wayne? Dirty Joes. Scrap is, uh, what I do. Oh. Bold. Original. <gasps> what are you looking at, girl pants? Go away! Yeah! yeah. Go, Go away, away, girl pants! pants. Flab face? Yeah! Flab face! Lizard legs? Worm features? Ooh, worm features. I like that. Hey! What happened to all the stuff? All gone. Kids been going crazy, buying up everything. No! This is my world! Give me that! No! Scrap is what I do! So? Yeah! So? Stop copying me! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, your little clone friends turn nasty, hey? Well, there's only one way out, Wayne. You'll have to fake your own death, and you'll need to make it look good to get these fiends off your back. <laughs> what a dork! That's it! Splendid! I'll get some ketchup and start a bonfire. Hey, yeah. Hey, wine weasel! I mean, Wendy, wait up! I've brought in all the photos now, but I was wondering if I could have a word with that boy Wayne again. I so enjoyed working with him. We, oui, of course, Mr. Nui Soms. I would be happy to oblige you, but apparently that Wayne boy hasn't bothered to turn up today. Lucian, is your brother sick? Um, not that I know of, Miss Hissy, but it's not beyond the bounds of possibility that he could have suffered a fatal accident this very morning on the way to... <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> Sorry I'm late. You look like my mother. Uh, uh, looks like uh, uh, hey, it's a fashion statement. Anyone want to copy me? Come, children. Recess is over. I'm sorry, Mr. Nui Sans. Had to be subjected to this spectacle. And I'll see you after school, Wayne Cramp. <laughs> Sweet plan, Wayne. Bet you wish you thought of it, don't you, girl pants? Actually, somehow I'm glad I didn't. Dress boy! Wayne! 
Wayne! Uh oh. You want to come to my house, Wayne? No, Wine Weasel! Go away! We can play dress up again! No! Stop! Leave me alone! Get away, Sunny Chuck! Why do I have to buy new shoes? It's so stupid. I love my old shoes. They're like my friends. These shoes are covered in my history. They've been everywhere with me. They've recorded my every move. Wow, Tony. I don't think I've ever seen shoes that way before. You're right, Tony. My shoes are a natural history museum in miniature. And what a collection! And the closer you look, the more you find. This is wet birch. You must have been in the goose paddock. <laughs> yeah! And there's a sod acorn sprouting in the soil here. That's from the storm gully. And observe, a homemade extra sharp thumbtack about to pierce my heel. Wayne. Tony! Get yourself ready, dear. Oh. Come on, Tony. Uh, Hurry along and get your flag. Yeah. Oh, that's good. We don't want any broken bones or bruises, do we? Bye, Lucian. See you later. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> the closer you look, the more you really do see. This is incredible. I never realized footwear was so revealing. It's almost as if shoes had the potential to reflect the entire complex personality of their wearers. This must be investigated further. Mom, why do you wear these tall shoes? High heels, Lucian, are designed to raise the wearer above the muck and germs that exist at floor level. They are both a practical and hygienic form of footwear. When did you last wash your hands, young man? Um, I thought so. Out of my closet! Out! Mm. Out! Hello, Tony. Hi. Hello, Tony. Oh, new shoes? They're secondhand. Uh, nice and shiny, too. Uh, come look at Tony's new shoes, darling. Oh, yes. They look very clean. Nice baby blue. Yeah, what are they? Doll shoes? Yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, come on, don't be upset, Tony. Your new shoes look all right, sort of. Oh, it isn't my new shoes. It's much worse than my new shoes. <laughs> worse than your new shoes? What? What could that be? I mean... I'm shrinking. Oh, surely you can't be shrinking. What makes you say that? Watch. 
See? My flag always brushes the door frames. Bounce a little more on your heels and try it. Yeah. <gasps> What's the point? I know the truth. I'm getting smaller. <laughs> Tony? Hmm? Do you think you might just get so small one day that you just disappear and there's nothing? Knock, knock! Ah! Hi, guys! I think I may have an answer to little Tony's little littleness problem. Please, step this way! What's that? It's a bigness builder! I made it for you! It looks like a medieval torture rack. Well, it isn't! Okay? Ha! Hop on, Tony! It's got a little padding for extra comfort. Uh -uh. You lie down, and I'll strap you in, and then I'll turn the little handle to make you stretch. Yeah, I mean, grow. Like a rack. It's not a rack! <laughs> Is this where you got the idea, Wayne? Hmm? Yeah. That's a rack! Okay, smarty pants. So it's a rack. Uh, I'm feeling a little uh, uncomfortable here. Uh, uh. Mom! Dad! Quick! <gasps> What's the matter, Lucian? Nothing. Oh, my, 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 Wayne. Uh, what a magnificent rack. Did you make that yourself? Why, yes, Dad. <laughs> Such a clever boy. Do you feel any taller? <sighs> no. Wait here. I got another idea. <coughs> Tall shoes. At least they'll give you a bit of a lift till we figure out how to stop you shrinking. Wow. You look taller than ever. Whoa, whoa. <gasps> <sighs> oh, dear. <sighs> this isn't working. Don't give up. We, we can stuff them with something. This saves on recycling. You feel like a new man. Whoa. <laughs> Come on, Tony. Let's go somewhere where you can practice wearing tall shoes in peace. <laughs> Mom says these shoes are designed to raise you off the germs at floor level. That's great. But how does she stay up? Lucy! Lucy! I'd better get back. No! Tony Parsons! You take my high heels off immediately. Yes, Mrs. Crab. Ooh, my ankles are killing me. How will I ever get these clean again, Lucian Cramp? There's at least an inch of muck stuck to the soles. An inch of muck? In just one afternoon? Oh. Look at your old shoes. Yeah, they're all caked up. With history. Man, swamp crud. At least an inch and a half of it. You're not shrinking at all. You just lost the uplifting layers of dirt on your shoes. Let's go cake up my new shoes. Yeah, 
It'll be a piece of cake. Lucian, just where do you think you're going? Lucian! <laughs> I don't ever want to see you in my high heels again. Lucian! You hear that, girl shoes? And that goes for you, too, Wayne Cramp. What? I didn't wear your shoes? What do you mean? 